Emmanuel Forbes, coming to you from Mississippi State, a six foot corner, 180 pounds. He is the best turnover machine in regards to defensive backs in the draft. Get this, in the last three years, 14 interceptions. He had three pick six as a freshman, came back a year ago, gave another three pick six in 2022 for a total of six touchdowns in regards to interceptions he's seen a lot of big time talent in the sec he's very very aggressive with his eyes and i can tell you this much about mr emmanuel when he sees something he is going no hesitation at all if you need a cornerback that can get the football back for your offense there's no one better than Mr. Emmanuel Forbes. Notable NFL player comp, Mr. Levi Wallace. I love those two guys when you talk about their stature in regards to taking the football away. He is the best to do it in this current draft. Jartavius Martin, defensive back out of the University of Illinois, is a long linear athlete with very good play speed, quick twitched, and can cover the field with great range. He played some outside as a corner, a lot of times you've seen him lined up as a Nick. I think his best position at the NFL will be free safety, and you saw a few snaps him playing free safety this year. He's quick out of his transition to close the routes underneath. He is an excellent hitter. He'll run through contract. Where teams are going to see him is because he can play multiple positions, they may use him as a Nick some to get out of the game, especially if they get someone hurt. Reminded me a lot of it for my pro comparison of a player that came out of Florida a few years ago, had a great season with the Philadelphia Eagles, who also was a Nick in free safety when he came out, and that was Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Ricky Stromberg, man, one of my favorite offensive linemen, not just in the SEC, but the entire country. This dude seemed like he started at Arkansas for about a decade. Unquestioned leader, there's no doubt. However, he struggled with double teams more times than not. And when he went up against guys like Jalen Carter, he really couldn't handle it. You're gonna see a lot of guys like Jalen Carter at the NFL level. I think it's a guy like Ryan Kelly. Ryan Kelly took a couple years, was I think one of the most highly anticipated offensive linemen, highly anticipated centers in that draft. Ricky Stromberg, that kind of upside might take a year or two for him to live up to that level. All right, let's go out to the Pac-12 and talk about one of Kyle Whittingham's favorite players, uh, Braden Daniels. Typical offensive lineman stands 6'3", 300. Let's talk about his attributes, though, because they are rare. He's very versatile. In college, uh, has made starts at left tackle, tackle uh, right tackle, left guard. You just don't see that a lot. He's a high IQ football player, uh, good mobility, uh, good feet. He can give you immediate depth. Keep in mind, he was 2022 first team all conference uh, with 14 starts. I think he's pegged right out the fourth round. It's going to surprise me if he slips past the fourth round. Kind of reminds me of Joe Hayes out of the 200, 2016 NFL draft. The physical tools have always been there for Clemson's KJ Henry. We're talking 6'4", 251 pounds, but there have been some setbacks along the way. He's had some injuries. He hasn't really been able to land his feet into being that kind of dominant defensive end, but his entire body of work, KJ Henry at his best throughout his career with Clemson is why NFL teams are very interested in seeing him continue that development. The thing that stands out to me about KJ is talking to people around the Clemson program, how hard everyone roots for him and everybody talking about the work ethic that he brings every single day to get better. They'll tell you that KJ with this 6'4", 250, good stand up outside edge rusher possibility, he is only going to get better once he gets to the league. Uh, being an edge rusher, working on the outside, that's why we have him comped to outside linebacker Lorenzo Carter from the Atlanta Falcons. KJ Henry already has the physical tools and he's only getting better. Andre Jones, the edge rusher at 6'4", 248 pounds from the great University of Louisiana, brings a lot of skills to the table, a lot of length as well, which is why I compared his game to Deshaun Dixon of the Jacksonville Jaguars. When you look at someone that is long and athletic, he can serve a multitude of roles within your defense. He can play on either side as an outside linebacker, and some teams may view him as an inside backer within the 3-4 defense because of how talented and athletic he is. Now, he does have to find a way to get more functionally strong at the point of attack in the run game. Stronger offensive tackles, i.e. right tackles, can get him up out the way. As he moves forward, he gets stronger there, able to sustain that point of attack. He could be a tremendous pro. Mitchell Tinsley, wide receiver out of Penn State, has a lot of chancy stucky in his game. 
Tinsley was unranked coming out of high school and spent two years in junior college before finding his way to Western Kentucky and then to Penn State. He shows an ability to eat up the cushion on vertical routes, stressing cornerbacks tasked with covering him. He's a long strider who'll need time to hit top end on those deep routes, and the 4640 he ran at the combine will be a concern for some NFL teams that want their receivers, especially those who measure a shade under six feet, to run in the 4-4s. And while Tinsley isn't particularly twitchy in his movements, that doesn't mean there isn't a need for a possession wide receiver at the next level. But in his case, he has legit yards after catch ability. Get him the ball in those holes in zone coverage, and he'll do the rest. Kentucky running back Chris Rodriguez Jr. is a bigger physical running back that should be able to help a contender grind out games late next season. He drives his feet on contact and rarely takes a tackle for loss. According to True Media, he avoided 36.6% of tackle attempts for rush. Rodriguez has below average burst and average top end speed. He maintains balance through contact and does a good job of pressing the front side of the gap before cutting backside. Rodriguez is an average pass catcher and blocker, which at least suggests he has three down potential. He projects as a potential starter at the next level with the more likelihood that he settles into a role. We have compared him to Steelers running back Benny Snell. 